Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing? I'm fine, sir. Good to see you again. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, when did we meet? Uh, at Marvin Peck? Yeah. All right. It was nice seeing you, man. Uh, and congratulations. Thank you very much, So, man. um, what? You are now a signee onto Def Jam Recordings. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's Def Jam Africa. What's the difference? <laughs> I, I was trying to read through it. Dev Jam, Dev Jam Africa, Dev Jam, what? Do they have West? Do they have East? Do they have South? Or is Africa in, in general? Um, I think it's Africa in general. We okay. have the Dev Jam Africa. I think, um, yeah, we do, we, we do. I don't, there's Dev Jam Africa, which oversees all the other things in Africa, the, the operations of the label in Africa, mm -hmm. yeah. But congratulations. So, what called for it? There are a lot of artists <laughs> in our, in our the world, man. Yeah, true, yeah. true, true. Um, I think it's just progressive. You know, this is a very big deal, progressive movement. So that's why we we've come here. You know, we thank God for making it happen eventually because this is a thing that we've been working on for a while. So to be able to take the music to, you know, further heights. So that's it. You know, but um, specifically it's a global deal, which is um, everything that's going to be happening in Stoneboy is definitely going to be handled by the teams in separate t territories. So the Def Jam team in America will see to the operations in America, the Def Jam team in Germany through Air Force. You know, the, 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 the other labels affiliate labels under the universal music group you know um 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 um, um holdings will see to the operations in individual territories territories mm -hmm. and this is a partnership Brennan music group def jam recordings universal music africa def jam africa you know congratulations thank man. you very much i'm so proud of you for sure uh when i got there the other day i, I was just looking at you quietly Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, the kid, the the the, the hungry kid from a shaman. All day, I mean, <laughs> still and, hungry. And, 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 are you still hungry? You have to be, bro. But I've not eaten this morning yet, so I'm literally <laughs> I served hungry. You, I served you coffee. <laughs> 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 I served you coffee when you came. You were eating uh, the cocoa yeah, <laughs> so, so. <laughs> with some mansa. I swear. Well, what's your usual breakfast? Oh, I. I miss breakfast a lot, so I don't really do breakfast. I just drink a cup of water or two, and then I'm on the road. Really? So I, I usually do want to eat after probably 12, maybe later, later, later. That's how my system has adapted to. You know, it may not be the best, but it's been years since I've been I've adapted to. But how do you keep fit, though? Press-ups. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah, press-ups. Yeah. Every day? Not con not really every day. <laughs> Sometimes you miss, you miss out, but I try to exercise in between mm, yeah. i see okay your new song therapy i just want to go straight to it because look i i love it yeah, Martin. i love it but this is a a, a, a different stone boy and <laughs> really? and, and yeah, yeah, yeah um w when i was leaving the press conference the other day i i, I was tapping into the reactions from from people that came there. Yeah. And what a lot of them were saying was that, ah, uh, this could be a direction from the new sign. It could be the new signage. That, okay, mm -hmm. well, they all have their own directions. Probably this is a target for the world stage. Mm -hmm. Is there something like that? Yeah, indeed. There's an intentional, um, you know, um, approach. Approach which would surprise you to be that this is coming strictly from Burnington Music Group, knowing the direction and the height that we want to, to tailor. So I, I boldly say that this is, this is not, um, nobody's been forced to, you know, like tow a setting uncomfortable lane, mm. which, you know, which they don't want to. I have always wanted to grow. I have always wanted to do something to develop my skill, to move into the next phase, to be able to appeal to a global audience. So I think the time is just now. 
which is why a sound like that. But there's everything Stoneboy in this sound. And this is just one song that is going to lead to the album. And so you guys should just watch out for many more different <laughs> styles. But there will always be the Stoneboy factor in whatever I do. It's just that there is an approach to be able to appeal to a larger audience. You know, so therefore you have to tailor it nicely so that, you know, the globe can also feed on to that. Not mm. to necessarily, nothing has changed, honestly speaking. It is just developing, you know, and that's how come you see the difference. But, you know, we, we've we seen Dev Jam push artists way up. Mm -hmm. they, they're working with world-class super art acts. Mm -hmm. I mean, you... You can check their catalog. All right. Amazing talents. And you are the latest addition. Yeah. I'm very sure they will make major an announcements soon. Um, we're just hoping that we'll see more Ghanaian acts. We'll see more acts from our side get there. Um, what's the target for Stoneboy? Yeah, the target is growth. Primarily, it's growth. Growth, 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 and nothing else. So... You know, get onto the world stage, get some opportunities, deliver, and continue to hoist the name of Ghana higher and higher. Because like you just mentioned, we need more and more and more of us. You know, like when I congratulated Kidi, I added that thing, more of us. So <laughs> you can understand that I'm of that mindset. And it all, it all starts from somewhere. And I think this international approach is not going to be starting with me. You know, if you dig down, 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 you realize that from 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 the days of our from the days of old even, they've they've been, you know, internationals like from the OCP sides. Like it's not now. It's just that many of us are not really, you know, we don't know. So this is not going to be what, what, what the, the first time. But this is also something that is is is, is really huge. You know that is going to add up to the GH you know, invasion. And all we can do is to actually push so that when the door widely opens enough for more of us, then it's better for us. So, Actually, there are other artists you look up to, I'm sure they don't even have that opportunity, man. I mean, this yeah, exactly. something I, else. Yeah, that's why I'm saying this is really huge because definitely, yeah, like I said, people will get opportunities and all we have to do is to be happy for them because opportunities don't come on silver platter. Like I'm saying, We've been working at this for quite some time now, as, as, as far as five years, as far as I remember, you know. And here we are today, landed a very superb deal with uh, the, 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 the family, like Def Jam America is, is on. Like, it's, it's, it's a global deal, like you can see. Like, if you follow everything, you realize that all, all, all those who are involved to make things turn around are actually working. So... This is, this is an opportunity I can't... S since think. you're there, I need a little more education. Yeah. So are they going to fund recordings, videos, shows? What, what is it? Exactly. It entails everything. Mm. It entails everything. So now if you want to shoot a video, what do they do? Do you have to call well, Spike Lee? Or <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, it depends on who you want to call and yeah, tell it, Charlie. I want to work with... Yeah, you, it gives you global access, to be honest, once it's necessary and needful. Mind you, it's, it's business first and foremost. So every... Every business approach will still be in place. But I, beautifully, I have creative control as well. So you'll be amazed to know that the video that was premiered was shot here in Ghana by a really? Ghanaian. You know what I mean? You see, now it's just like really Richard, so the, the therapy video. Come on, man. Let me get it. <laughs> Guys, get on, you, get on YouTube right now. Uh, uh, it's not out yet, but I think it's going to oh, be Oh, the video is not out. Yeah, we, ah. we just had the opportunity to see it that day. So honestly, Because that day speaking, I went on YouTube, I couldn't find it. I'm yeah, like, ah, yeah. Charlie, about YouTube, why? So our people did it, as far as I'm concerned. Who okay. shot it? Um, give um, some props. Give some yeah, props. Yeah, absolutely. Jo oh, come on, man. Joy Williams has been a brother. He shot my Run Go video from time. Joy has been a brother. He he tell you, yo, story. You, you make me move to Ghana. One young kid who has been doing crazy stuff. He's behind a lot of things that... He's a Ghanaian. Lot of, he's Ghanaian. He's behind a lot of big, big videos. You know, either producing, either part. He's, he's, he's just amazing. Joy Williams is is the one who did that video, you know. So I have creative control of still representing and also having access to actually work with people who can, you know, add on to 
where we want to really Who go. Who produced this therapy song? Super Dupes. Super Dupes? Yes, if you know Super Dupes. Super Dupes, the... the Original Super, Super Dupes, Dupes, Super Dupes for Bruno Mars, Rihanna, uh, everybody, you know, Super Dupes, Super Dupes, and then uh, another guy, three people actually produced, you know, Daramola is a Nigerian guy who's up there, and there's one, Easy, are you kidding me? He did Coffee Stools, you know, these are my friends and brothers outside, outside there, so... We're able to do some magic on this therapy song. Okay, so three producers on one song. Exactly. How did they meet in the same studio, or you were you not satisfied, and that was how it landed on on three producers? Because we are very accustomed to just one producer. Well, he does his thing. Someone else will mix it. Someone will go and master. Mm -hmm. Or this one will touch this small. This one will do this. Small. It, how take me through the process yeah there's a collaborative effort like i've always said music is actually collaboration anyway it, it, it grows in collaboration more than ill competition you know what i mean so all right uh upon all my travel travel travels <laughs> there was a studio session set for recording wow so super dupes was like ah, today your recording was super your recording was easy all right i was excited we're going to the studio and then this is what we turned out you know so it's like it's a set. It's like what's all called Juma, you know, these are the people on the roast. All right, the team out there makes things work. So <laughs> you know. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So what are, are you gonna work on an album soon? Yeah. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. There, 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 there's an album we're working on. And this is, is part of the singles of, of the album coming. I don't know when it's going to come. I used to know when it was going to come. <laughs> but now things have changed. <laughs> things have changed. I used to know when. The album led to me a lot. I had an album in March. You know? But right before then, you know, things... Which means it's ready, moving. as you speak. Mm, I would the have. way they talk, they like that he, yeah. he cook already. Let, oh. Yeah, led to me and I would have dropped it in March. But now I don't know when. But trust me, whenever it comes, it will be worth it. Because that... that, that, that Target is going to be achieved. It has to be achieved. So now, um, if, if we want to book you for an event, mm -hmm. how? How does it work? Yes, must it, it go through Dev Jam or must go through Benita Music? Yes, it definitely goes through Benita Music. Some can go to, you know, like wherever you contact, we make sure we, we put it back onto where it's got to go. So like I told you already, this is a, a partnership. Brenton Music Group, Def Jam Universal. So Ghana, the team is able and running. It's just been added up to so we have representatives here from Universal and Def Jam, same way. So it's just a bigger team now, you know. But if the same way, you know, call the numbers, call Chief. You know, we'll use the traditional methods and the international <laughs> methods. We will achieve same way. So nothing has really changed in that We, manner. we, me, for me, I was happy I saw you. Uh, Memphis in May? Mm -hmm. Wicked. Crazy. Wicked. Wicked, you are performing in you know, Tennessee. Is like, well, Memphis is like a predominantly white mm -hmm. community, and you are going to sell your music from Ghana to them. Yeah, what were you thinking? Oh, they go buy them. Uh, <laughs> that was what you were thinking. They go buy them because the people come out with open mind to come and enjoy music. So, if you have also been putting in the works on the ground, remember that. I, I travel out a lot, and I do a lot. So these are the impacts that will pop out. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, we, we're here in Ghana, but we can't see all the impacts. So you can realize all the international shows that I've been built to play. These are big shows, same way. And it doesn't get there because somebody knows you from somewhere. It gets there because there's been work input. You have the right team on the ground. There's, like, the common needs that I can't, say all over here is working so you so say when i got on stage you realized massive. They, they, they massive and that's where i performed the song for the first time therapy and it, it, i was just blown away they learned how to sing the song right there and people know people so the world is opening up to us so we just I'm supposed to wake up by now. Yeah. <laughs> Alarm is waking you up. You know, yeah. you know, like what I'm saying is that like we have to grow and we are working, so we will see the results. So these are all results of work. It's not just results of by 
you can say buying tombs. Yeah, so. And immediately you landed press conference. Absolutely. Soon afterwards, radio. Mm-hmm. Then the VGMAs. Exactly. Then I'm here this morning. So the VGMAs, when your name was mentioned, no, they didn't even mention your name. Yeah. The dancers got on stage. Yeah. <laughs> then song was playing. One song played. It played for the second time. Yeah. Then for the third time. Yeah. What was causing the delay? Yeah, um, I'm sorry, but I, I, I don't, honestly, I don't know what was happening in the back, but we all understand live production stuff happened. I didn't get my. I couldn't eventually have my in ear on. Okay, the plan was, um, you know, to follow suit what happened. But I don't know. It's just I, I don't know how they started like twice. It's technical issues. I, maybe I have to ask what really was happening. But eventually we had a good show, and you know that like being in the scene, you know that so many things happen when you're producing live events. So as for this one, I think it's really a minor one that people can forgive. Yeah, because, yeah, because but actually the mm-hmm. plan was not to come on stage immediately. Oh. Exactly, so it worked, definitely worked. Because you know it's been a while I've been on there, so the plan was supposed to make it feel like Omba. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then all of a sudden, you know, boom. So that's I think that works. But you know what I was on because people were, I, were like, Anna. I was on Twitter <laughs> and then I got on Facebook. Yeah. I saw Sheldon's tweet and somebody else's tweet like, yeah, we'll be like, you know, go come. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know? That's that's the plan. At that's, that, at that's that's that, at that moment you were on Twitter checking? No, I be oh, I got off, you know. Okay. And you see, you see in the trend. I've been trending for quite some days. Now. Okay. So sometimes I want to read a few things. Yeah, right. And I saw it. But I, I think it, it it worked, you know. But for me, there's always more room for improvement. Honestly speaking, the venues we have here. We're trying to maximize what we can do in terms mm-hmm. of arts, creative with it. And we are trying, to be honest. If God willing, we do get to get to, because we are growing the levels. Maybe one time before you realize, I'm just showing up in the sky somehow, yeah, you know? Man. So, we go manage them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, 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 the messages were funny. Like, ah, why well, stone boy, if you either go wearing shirt or what? You don't know to tie again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this time you see us, please. Then someone said, "Oh, Charlie, like either shatter day on the phone. They think they, 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 yes. they, 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 they Someone said, uh, "Why a shatter asking him not to go on stage? Otherwise, he will, he will come there again." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's really interesting when you know there are um, interesting ones like this, and there are also the toxic tweets that are like, "Oh, not nice." But if it's there somewhere know. like ah, yeah. like Ibo. Uh, this he was make me laugh. I laugh. I laugh. He bossy. What? He bossy. Charlie. That was the plan. Charlie. Yeah. They, all of. But me, when they started playing for the third time, I'm like, Charlie, man. Uh, nah, the boy don't go show up. Aha. Uh-huh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Stone boy. I got you. That the song plays like when we and after they play, they're singing Rango. They're singing something like, hey. Chat, nah. It, it worked then. It, Man, worked. Some, it worked. Something went wrong. It worked, yes. It was, that's ah, the plan. As it he stepped on the stage, someone shouted for the back. Ah, Charlie, see his face, he ball. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> ah, how? No, wait. <laughs> hold, hold, hold it. Ria, yeah. what, what was your reaction when he got on stage? No, somebody on Twitter was like, um, that Shatawali, everybody yeah. won. Everybody yeah. won. Only you two. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Ah, everybody yeah. won one. Everybody, everybody won, won one. You alone. Two songs, two. You only two. two. <laughs> so, um, when he finally got, I was like, okay. Dude is about to do it. Then he had his performance. And I was like, okay, okay. That, that's, all, that's all I kept saying. <laughs> I was like, okay. Now, I'll take all your reactions on this. <laughs> <laughs> No, Kwesi, Kwesi, good morning. Yeah. Oh, no what, what, what was your, what was, oh, it worked. Just so, per, per your explanation, if that was the plan, that, that then it, it really worked. I, I mean, I won't lie to you. That's it. I'm supposed to come What, in what was your board. reaction was when, when he was not showing up? Okay, so when, for me as a creative person, when he was not showing up, I wasn't per tap of the fact that he's not going to make it. Okay. Because I know that it's at such an, a big event, production of this nature, before artist image can be displayed in graphics, it means he's really means ready. With even the people that came to display the acts and all of them exhibiting and all that, it would be a huge of <laughs> the, the, the legal thing if that is 
does not even appear. The amount of the, the legal thing that is involved showcasing the racist image and also even to the audience, it's going to be serious such that the two of them before exhibiting or showcasing Stoneboy's image on that, there's likelihood that the young man is at the backstage. But of course, he needs to also prepare our mind. So me, when he was not coming, I said that the young man is preparing our mind to his comeback. And it was epic. Okay, so that was but, your but thought. Can I, can I say something? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. But you know that sometimes yeah. some um, events happen, the event organizers do not finish negotiation with the artist mm -hmm. before they post. No, there are some brands. You, there are some brands you can... You, you, don't, you don't toy you with. No, 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 you don't. No. You, don't, you can't. Okay, no, me, you, I was thinking... Because if somebody, <laughs> if somebody takes you to court, he's not going to mention it less than 100,000 cities. Hundred thousand. No, I'm saying he's not going to mention anything. Hundred thousand. 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 And I had the chance to, you know, liaise with some people backstage. Mm -hmm. And some of the huge artists, including Lighten people, were not paid in full. Where The negotiation wasn't enough. You're people, right. yes. Right, so, <laughs> I'm telling you, it could be big brands supporting and everything. But we know our country. We know some we, of these. Yeah, there are, there are, I'm, I'm not taking yeah. the word from you. There are, there are, there are certain instances where relationships and what have you ma comes into play sure. with negotiations. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I know Andy Dusty is my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we flew Andy Dusty from here to London for the Ghana Music House UK mm -hmm. without any uh, contractual or paperwork of mm -hmm. how much mm -hmm. am I supposed to pay and what have you. But he was there. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's not because... Uh, so, if, for example, Andy could be in London and decide to say that, okay, well, you, if you guys don't pay me, I'm not going to perform. Mm -hmm. And within backstage, there can be one or two here and there. Mm. Despite the fact that he's on the grounds. Right. That is what you are setting to. Mm. Mm. And that could be a different... That There was a relationship. Before you could see any of that happening, mm. there is some amount of relationship that exists within the parties involved. But given um, past occurrences... Yeah. It was easy for everybody to think that because I mean there's a, there's a kind of rocky relationship between VGMA and Stone Boy as a brand. We don't know what. Uh -huh. have, uh -huh. We don't know what have gone. So on. that was the plan. Back, yeah, you know, back door. We don't know the negotiation yeah. and everything. So everybody's like, okay, are these people really going? Because there's there's been times where people have even been given awards that they don't show up because they are not cool with no, VGMA. No, with some boy and international but would, you, but would you guess why? Would you? Would you, would you, no, no, would you but would you guess hey. why people would have that thought though? Oh, they are entitled. They are entitled. And you see, there are two people, kinds of people who enters into any auditorium. Or even three. There are the businessmen. Mm -hmm. There are the general fans who come to party, party and show. Yeah. And then there are technical people who come to watch events. For some of us, when we go to event, we are technically inclined. Mm, yeah. We see everything that is happening on a different, with a different spectacle. Mm. Me, as an, I'm saying, as somebody delays from the back, I know that he was preparing our mind for whatever he was coming to do. And it was epic. It was important for him. In fact, that delay was very necessary. Yeah. It was yeah. a necessary delay because people were like, see Stone Boy, everybody, I saw what, there was one guy sitting by me close to Adam. He was like, ah, what Charlie? You like the guy they come <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Surely it worked. It worked. Yeah. Surely it worked. I, I mean, I wouldn't lie to anybody because there are people who are involved that you guys know from the back. So if I'm lying about it being a plan, you can you can cross check. Yeah. That was the plan. Mm. And I guys, think did you see I it? think I pulled it off so well enough that I even honestly confused everybody. Hey, because we are me. We're that was scared. me. By the time I was, in, I didn't even tell the band that I wouldn't start singing from when. So even them, that's how come they were like, ah, no, Debbie, Debbie, you yeah. But but you so, me, me, me like this, back uh, in there, I just tell everybody, say, <laughs> that chief say, oh, to I love you, and I'm with <laughs> No, it will be. Listen, <laughs> do, 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 you, know, you know what? You see me earlier, oh, you come, you so come. I actually made it, because if I had told them 
vividly, vividly. You don't go feel real. Everybody felt it. So even you, me, you know what? You know what? Person, you you know what, what? What make a compare? My, my, my video guy said, "Everybody." Hey, we'll be having a My video guy, I see. I know maybe they didn't buy so that, but I see. Hey, Ubu, we didn't have a piece of beer. My wife will make coffee. Video, I also want to say beer. My head is having coffee. Actually, and I'm supposed to say me now. No, but me, what you know, confused me? But then me and the uh, the school of performing arts, they did so well. I really oh, so, appreciate oh, them. Oh, so yeah, those, those were the from Lagos, okay. Yeah, and you know, for me, this is how we have to be going. Sometimes we hire the people yeah. from the right places so that they can also get involved. So me and them, there, we knew where I was going to come in. I was gonna but come they did in so well by, by by repeating yes. the act over and over. over. So yeah. I was like, ah. The, the, Charlie, you know, know, what, was what, what, I want to go for the I can. I just thank God that we're able to pull it, you know, we were able to make it happen as real as we could. You say sometimes we planning at the end, but they were planning this. You know, the union maybe free more last minute. No, Kwanu will be a queen. People close to me, Kwanu were not really sure. Say, ebe ebe happen. Oh, Martinez, did, did you see it too? Yes, I saw it initially. I thought um, it was technical challenge, but then I realized uh, probably it's a deliberate move to get people into speed. So, like you said, it it, it was a plan. Just to get people wondering. I mean, uh, as an artist coming on stage, there should be, you know, some kind of plan in order to get people into it. So once it worked, that's fine. But initially, I was thinking it would have been a trend if he didn't show up because of what happened last time between them, himself and VGM. So probably he's trying to mafia them by not coming. That was what I was thinking. I when it yeah. changed. Even when they were singing Rango and the rest, I'm like, hey, Charlie, mm -hmm. they've changed the song and still the guy is not showing up. Mm -hmm. Nah, something is wrong. I nearly went backstage. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly went backstage, Charlie. Awesome, yeah, thank you, you, really thank you, thank you, man. Yeah. I mean, given the venues we have you now, I know that many of our arts would love to pull up crazy, crazy, you know, entries, but... The VGMS last night was dope too. Yeah, but yo, you, you you gave you we, gave we, a we great performance. Good. Thank you very much. Great performance. All right then, people stay on here on it's one zero three point nine FM. Stone Boy is my special guest this morning. Yes, sir. A lot of mercy, man. My favorite from the album. Uh, Chale, 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 chale. Oh boy. You're gonna trust in the decas in the night. You never see them. Aye. Only for things we do as a mankind. They are well hidden. Ah. And anything I don't see, I don't hear. From them things that you tell me never fear. I'll never know yeah. what type of battles they fight for me. Strength and hope. Strength and hope. Yeah. You give me strength and hope in times like this, I cannot go. Breathe that scream to read him again. Strength and hope, strength and hope. You give me strength and hope the way you look, the read me, they make a defeat. That's why I divide some giving. Strength and hope, strength and hope and the dusty. You give me strength and hope. When it comes to mobile phones, they are the best in town. Try them and you will see. 
Some way mentioned it. Uh, from now, then go see. That man, then go see. At the press conference, I'm about to tell you more uh, what, what he said. We'll be getting deeper into that. I beg you, I was having fun with my. Ah! You know, say last, last day, the, me and you guys, I was having fun. Yeah. Uh, he said, hey, be damn now, then go see. Be now, then go see. <laughs> yeah. You know, they go see. Franco Trading Enterprise is the best in town. When it comes to mobile phones, Charlie, nobody cross that borderline. 0246 422 is the best in town. Please, 0555 93 93 11. Franco Trading Enterprise is the best when it comes to phones. Still phone, Papa Perfier. Make your lunch count. Today, Papa's Munches is your number one burger shop in Accra. Find the juiciest of burgers, creamiest of shawamas, and the cheesiest of sandwiches right here in our kitchen. Order from any of the branches, East Ligon, Ring Road, Dummy, North Ligon, Adenta. Same building as Papa's Pizza. Hey, Vodafone. Baby, I want better. By Vodafone, and them free. Experience real-time customer care at a convenience using Vodafone Ghana digital channels, pay bills, send money, buy airtime, make inquiries, and more on my Vodafone app, Toby and DigiCare. Download my Vodafone app on Google Play and App Store. Say hello to Toby on WhatsApp, 0501300. Vodafone, further together. Are you building your house? Are you building? Are you an estate developer? And Esquesiani, I'm speaking to you. Estate developer, I'm speaking to you and Esquesiani. Buy from Tri Steel Roofing Company Limited. They are the best. Everyone is buying from Tri Steel. You are the only one buying from the other place. Otherwise, the roof, there will be holes. Tri Steel, they will give you a 20 year warranty. The ones you are buying, do they give you 20 year warranty? This one, they will give you 20 year warranty. Ernest, call them. Write the number, huh? You are holding your phone. 0302 850 802 030 850 802 <laughs> I need to take my time and say it. And they give you a 20 year warranty. The better part is that they have a team of highly skilled estimators and they will offer you free and quick estimates and technical support. Hey, somebody say he chop bet. They say Stoneboy will come. He won't come. Stoneboy will come. He won't come. This one, he just arrived. He is here now. <laughs> uh, he just showed up. This one, they know if you pull that prank on us. This one, they feel it, feel it, he come. Uh, so if if you went to on Betway betting, Charlie, you chop bet, not be that. Yeah, man. Play the new and supersized Betway jackpots and you can walk away with 300,000 CDs in cash. Betway for the love of the game. Visit www.betway.com. GH. So, Stoneboy is here. Ah, boy. Get on Facebook at Hits1039 FM. Stoneboy is live and watch. And I'm going to be reading your comments on air. Woo! How come we don't have the instrumental to the song? That'd be what they play, no? No. Or the, the back of uh, That'd be me. That'd be me. <laughs> Do some small magic. Okay, so your 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 new style, it looks like now the target is Afrobeat, Afrobeat, Afrobeat. Even when you were in Memphis, yes, it's good this has come up. Uh sorry, you went to you went to Paris. Yeah. And in an interview, was it on France France twenty four? You mentioned that Afrobeats, it was you and Sarko did. And in your conversation, Afrobeats was in there. That is the new thing, or is the biggest thing now. Would that be your new direction? <laughs> like, since you know, like honestly speaking, for me, yeah, I Afrobeats is, is is a name the world is running with. That it's a name that the global system recognizes material from Africa mm. as you know, per how they categorize uh, stuff. Mm. To fit their, you know, their uh, market, yeah, to fit their system and settings, you know. So, for me, it's it's it's, it, 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 it's not changing my style to any anything different. Like, I'm still Afro dancer or reggae, mm. and I think that all the news outlets from the new engagement has actually stressed on that also nothing 
it's changes there. So I mean, if you if you say <coughs> Afrobeat, it is just what the world, the Western world, basically sees how they see everything coming out from Africa. But we are in Africa, we know the different variations. I think that's all there is to it. It's not like everybody is changing to, you know, to anything extraordinary. Because it's the same old music we're doing. It's the same old, <clears throat> when you take the song Therapy, you still hear me do, Baby girl, no bother, put me to the stress. What about talk come? All credits to Tansel right there. And then you come, I love the way you lie to me. Credits to what? Singing. Maybe R&B, maybe High Life. Because that same thing I said can go on a High Life beat. So for me, it's just a name that is representing the lot for us. But you have to also stay true to your craft and know what you represent properly. That's it for me. If Afrobeat comes to play, the definition has to, it has to be broadened enough to uh, engulf all the styles and genres coming out from Africa. Because if you go to Como, uh, if you go to um, um, Ivory Coast, you go to Mali, Burkina Faso, Sidiki their party is playing his kora and adding things. And so, Afrobeat is 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 is, is just the name for me. What it entails is way more than the name that represents it. That's it. Did, did, did you did you hear or mm. did you see the comments when when that statement you made? People felt like ah they couldn't say anything about Ghana. That okay, this is what we do. At least mention hip life or oh, no. mention I life. Oh no, I paid vivid attention to these things. There was two interviews on the big platforms in France. The first one was lasted less than maybe five minutes, so it was quick. We couldn't sum everything up. But the second one with Juliet was Lendia, where we went, we delved really deep down, and I, that's one of the best interviews that I think we have been given the opportunity to actually say what it really is. Kodu Entry dropped even a video in there and spoke about it. And when a question was asked, that, what is the Ghanaian genre? Because the woman really knows where I'm going. She said, okay, probably if you pick, there's Dombolo from Congo. There's something from somewhere. You know, she was specifying the various African, you know. Genres. Genres. Which eventually all are engulfed under the name Afrobeats for the West, mm. you know, to use in their own stuff. So she asked, what is the genre for Ghana? I quickly answered and said, high life. Mm. And the high life that I am talking about is the same high life that was named when they, they except the history is lying, that says the people were playing, the name came out of playing for high people in, class, right. in, the, in, 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 in society. Mm. So these high people were what? Were foreigners, were elite, mm. were foreigners all across. Mm. Therefore, it, it, it influenced the style. So if Sebio my great-granddad had his guitar over there. He would make sure he plays the Afri what he has as indigenous and also play something that the guy's ear can catch for what he knows. Mm. Because music would have been traveling in and out. Those people would bring a CD, like in real life. Or between the Nyomwa but say, hey, I love you guys. And then people go do a mixture of styles. All I'm trying to say is that high life, actually, if you take it and break it down, there's everything in there. So when Korean Tree actually showed us a surprise and came, it, it sealed my, my, my... Oh, he showed you a surprise? Yeah, on the show. Okay. It sealed the whole, you know, debate as in, pick a Korean Tree song and tell me how futuristic it is not. You have pop in there. You have dancehall in there. You have reggae in there. You can find everything in there and that is high life. That is high life. So if I'm doing reggae dancehall and retete, it's not new to still say that, you see, we, we are all growing to redefine certain things and carry it on. So for me, if you ask me anywhere in the world, what is the genre of music from Ghana, I'll say high life. Mm. But it entails all the other styles. It entails the rap, which is the hip life. It entails the singing. It entails the raga for me. Mm. I see. You, 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 you've been in some trolls. When I see them, I laugh. I uh... Whenever they, 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 there's a video of you pop, pop up talking to anyone, there's a voiceover. There's some funny voiceover. Eh, 
Yeah, yeah, can't wife, and can't you? Yeah, so I gave it, and you wear someone's wife, and what's the guy's name? My funny guy. Um, Yaki. Yaki. Yeah, yeah, Yaki, yeah, yeah. Yaki, you know, guy about Kubizo. No, 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 man. no, 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 there was something, and then as you were, as he was leaving, you said something to him again, and yeah, then and they you, made you, a nice video out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I what, what, it over what, what was that discussion? Oh, that discussion. There have been ten artists to artists <laughs> discussing. <laughs> it was not. It was nothing. It was. It was. It was. It was quick vibe. <laughs> but if you saw the demeanor, you know it was something patu patu man vibe, right? Uh, so he managed to get to, I think I'm doggy, I'm doggy, I'm doggy, you know what I mean? But it was on Patukpa vibe. Uh, mean that, that was serious vibe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 you guys, what's your relationship now? Oh, we be cool, oh. Right now, they will be cool. Yeah. Mm, as far as I'm concerned, right now, we be cool. Well, I don't know, they, we did two for Memphis or everything together. There was a video of you when you were performing and he and Angel were in there dancing. Ah, you know, I yeah. jump into it like, I had yo. To give them shout out and thing. Bro, you see the reality there? It's dusty. We'll be cool. No, Wahala be no day. Me, as far as I'm concerned, now, 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 we've been cool. I've never really had anything against him or anybody, but it's just situations come up where you answer. Yeah, so for now, I, nothing there. Do, do, People think that you are petty sometimes. Who and who? Oh, a lot of people. I mean, yeah, uh, but people talk. I mean, like, you stone boy, you know they lie down to you. Hey, in there, in there, in but that's in not pettiness. Well, that's <laughs> that's not pettiness. I, I don't think I'm petty. People can have opinions of me, which is, is cool, because it's not all of them who would encounter me in real life to get to understand me, so... I, 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 I respect their opinions, but if you give me an opportunity to, to speak to them who are listening right now, I want to state that I am not petty. I'm the most principled guy, and yeah, that's how I see myself. Also, Janet Why, what be the episode? I've had a disciplinary so I grew off of that. I, that's just who I can describe, and everybody around me knows. You know, how are you punished? And I'm the most fun guy to be around as well. How, how are you punished? The other time, some judge came here and tell I said, "Oh, if they want me, what?" Same like, way, yeah. same way, uh, same way, same way. Yeah, nothing, no beat. Everything they beat me some before. Everything, you know. Like I mean, I'm not saying this in a negative light. I don't want anybody to say, "Hey, and I'm, this, you know, don't carry the news negatively." We all know we are Ghanaians. I'm a big man. Yeah, a big father. Good discipline the you wear well. The type of punishment I take, you know. You, you I take punishment. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, in the real world, you can't define the punishment. <laughs> Maybe punishment. What what, what okay, is the okay. worst? Uh, one, one thing I will always remember. It was my father's birthday on the sixth, you know. Sixth what? Just two days ago. Sixth, and then ninth, three sixth, days ago. Okay. So he wasn't expecting me. Bam no. Oh, that crowd of the this roof here because bo pa pa pa. What's your one? It's who I am, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I remember one thing. Miss Sakrano, let me go dry. Oh, do you have a towel in there? Oh, yes, I do. Ah, and a couple buy inside. Miss Sakrano, buy inside. No, see, ah. The towel now is there on there. There's no towel be in here. Do the lashes I collect for the shower hand now. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you don't get towel. Just because you lied. Tao no be ah, there. Why is it Tao be there? Charlie. This is just an example of how, and I'm proud to say that I come from that school. I come from that camp. But I'm the nicest person guy. to deal with. Everybody knows. So, we, so I implement that on the work. We deliver. We make sure. And... The heights thereof, you know. So apart from that, I'm super nice. Everybody knows that. Those who are close to me, so everybody was gonna get the chance to. But petty party, I'm more fan coming thing, Mr. So it, 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 I, I, let's let's stay on that. In this case, 
if your children, I know how how mm. close you are with yeah. your children, yeah. how much you love them. And yeah. times have changed. <laughs> yes. But still, yeah, same but way. Implement. Yeah. <laughs> <We're> implement. <laughs> so when, when they go wrong, how will you punish them? No shaking. I've that. seen a video where uh, one of them got angry with the mother, <laughs> and then you came, you came in like, oh, shame them. Hey, yeah, it's just yeah, me yeah. and you. Yeah. I mean, yes, it happens. But how, how will you punish if no, they go wrong? I mean, it, it depends. There's categories for what to do. But sometimes you have to change people's mentality first and foremost. That is how they get to stay true. You can't force them to change. You know what I mean? Yes, Anka, the canes we will collect, you know, <laughs> we would have changed quickly. You know? I would I would spread this to be the general system. You can remember from when we we stopped caning students in SSS. So that's like a general Ghanaian thing, which me I don't understand. I don't hear uh-huh. school cry and say I no muda ashi wa SSS. Until you can understand say abano omu the titi yeni na from some time maybe a new school for onona omu the omu nimse ya the king and the de kasa. And, uh, uh-huh. So for me now, no, I'm also new school. My kids are new school, but I'm grateful to have come from the school I did. So I go manage them nicely with my kids so that, you know, you don't overdo it. Sometimes when you overdo them, um, we get some classmates where the father go, okay, now if boy come talk to him, maybe she breaks her first for them. <laughs> you know, so you can, and I'm just citing that as an example where sometimes you just have to be balanced about mm. how you discipline I, people. I, I'll let my elders come in, but you, you made a statement that the likes of Sakodia Shatawale and myself, <laughs> be, before that, before the statement you made, now, would you ever call your fans to stop trolling Shata and Sakodia on social media? Andy, that, yes, I will, to answer your question, but the reality is that it goes 360 with all of us. But what I would really want to address is that some of the ones get too personal. It is some, if it's an agenda, then it's dangerous. That let us pour sun in everybody's gallery. Then it goes 360, it affects all of us. I don't know if my telling them to stop will, will, will suffice, but speaking as the Beam Nation president, I know my fans are not ridiculous. To be honest, they're not ridiculous like it's to- like total opposite. Now No, they speak from what is actually you know like my, if, if if you pick, I think if you pick ten of my hardcore fans, seven of them would actually be very constructive with the criticism, where they have it plain, mm-hmm. and maybe three of them will go overboard like us in trying to go too hard you know so we all do get the trolls but generally i think we should we should we should understand that these things do affect people a lot i mean they are not things we are supposed to be used to it's not natural to be used to insults mm. that people would say you're an artist you should be used to that come on you know you 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 you, you, you are human so i just beg the community the twitter community especially that Think, you know the other ones that would come off of like oh somebody said yes you see my my trousers are the vgma serious trousers yeah. they are put on those ones it, it's 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 nice it's funny it's and if you're going to Why, what did they say oh yes right no they and so that we can't can't so that we buy you know i'm a me cover to you see or we say or the over catch an ambassador this was yes you know you know so it's funny, it's interesting. And there are ones too that they would pick up on the reality and question and, and ask. But the, the ones that I, I chance upon the most are the misconstrued ones, which is, is really, it's really, it's really not good because those ones are just, it's too bitter, it, you know. Twitter would operate, but the, the one that is too much, no dear, please, let's stop those things. So it, in this case, would you want to would you want to sit down with Shatter and, and Sark if, if something of the sort can be, if it can be minimized? I know I made the input initially. No, no, it's good, though, but what I'm asking is, I mean, for yeah. you, do you think it would be appropriate now? I'm really, I'm, I'm checking your countenance and I, you feel a bit uncomfortable. No, 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 no. come on. Man. Okay, so do you think it would be appropriate? Do you think it, 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 you may want to do that? Do we have to have a meeting before 
probably addressing and speaking to issues like this. I don't think we, we do have to have a meeting because everybody's timing is different. But the core subject is we should actually, you know, amplify the fact that some people can get sued. Some of the things you can say to another artist, if they have your time, they can carry you on. So that's you, you're on your own. You could probably be doing that in my name, in Shatter's name, in Sack's name. But then it goes beyond the circus that it's supposed to be within. If you feel like you have an evidence of something that I said that requires a troll or whatever, then you place it on, then it's very constructive. But if it's not constructive and you go and amplify, and this also goes to some of our, some of our media men too, like when you amplify these things out of the box, you, you, it goes a long way to not help the industry at all. Because imagine we have one hour. We we'll spend 40 minutes on the the controversial amplified stuff. We are not doing ourselves any good. So if I do meet with them or they meet with us, fine. But we do not have to meet before addressing. Because I see it a lot of times. I see tweets where Shata would mention Stoneboy and Sack fans there. Say, 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 say. Yeah, we all say. We all see that still. So people are addressing it differently from different angles. And this is how I will address it to that. Let's be constructive with the things we say on social media. And, and think 360, because we are living within the confines of laws as well, where you realize, it is so detrimental so much that it, it, they, can, they can take you on. People don't really know these things. Do you reach out to, okay, somebody <clears throat> like Shata, if he puts out a tweet like that, would you reach out to him back door and say, yo, this thing is... No, I don't engage. Really? I, I don't engage like that. Cra. Cra, 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 cra. So what, you just give it a blind eye and... You see it and that's it. Because I, I don't think it's worth the time and all the energies because we are all busy, including him himself. It's just that he's found on two minutes to do that. He will go back to being busy. So we just, you know, get over it. Mm. And it, to me, it's not even about the artists themselves. As for artists, we are one, one, one. But the masses that we control... No, and the masses that are there, that are our audience, this is what I, the plea I just mentioned is what I'm saying. That we're all humans. Either ways, we all get trolls, we all get insults, but let us keep it very constructive. You, you had come under s s s some s serious backlash lately uh, about um, some, something about, what you, you came back with a, a press release that you are not promoting Bitcoin or what was it about? I think there was a release you made. Yeah. Yeah. What was it about? It was about um, a tweet that I made that was, I think, was read into from different perspectives with some of the readings being very outrageous where I've had to hold a lengthy conversation with Bridget O2 who packed up um, a certain conversation off of her, her own, you know, she's packed up a certain conversation of, 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 of the tweet, and then we went back and back and forth. And that was how it blew into, you know, something else where everybody was also feeding in different perspective. And I'm a Ghanaian, so I understand the various perspectives. So the needful was to detach and make them know what they are trying to pin me to is not what it is because I'm not an ambassador to anything for anything. I only honestly, as Twitter is a place and social media is a place to communicate, I only found out something that I read about mm. and then I put a tweet. So the, um, the press, um, if it's press or whatever I put over there, it states everything cleanly. So it's, it's still on Twitter. You can find it. That's I just detached from what they were pinning me to, which was not correct. If it was, why not? But it's not. So I had to. Stoneboy is my special guest in the studio, and we're having a talk. Forgive if your your <laughs> your messages are not ready yet. I've seen plenty plenty comments for, <laughs> for and some some people have also started. Well, the you know the rare, rare. Just like I said, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, Once it's constructive, then there's a then, then we can talk. Uh, uh, not, um, mm -hmm. on Friday, Dorin Avio hosts, um, Daybreak Hits. Mm. So 
because I've started a new show called The Library, mm. where it's like uh, we get into school and educate about our music, get into the ins and outs and how it was created Perfect. On, on Fridays at 10 a.m. So Doreen did an interview with Kobe Che. Mm. And Kobe made a statement that... Um, uh, <laughs> I want you to listen. Okay? Check this out. Uh, not helping the fan base. I know the fan base are doing well, but the trolling is too much sometimes on social media. Mm, the energy mm. that these fan base are supposed to use, they're supposed to channel the energy in pushing their So, for instance, let's say Stoneboy wins BET. Fans of Shatawali or Sarkodie who don't belong to that clique of, or that clique of fan base, or that fan base of Stoneboy, uh, will now say that, oh, agenda. You see them in times like this, I cannot go no no. You are going no. When me a table strength, me no me I, I no strength from the I, gym. I, I I'm talking strength from how, within. Uh, the fact that even though yesterday Stoneboy made that announcement, you haven't really seen his fan base, you know, even talking about it or you know promoting it on social media. Yes, the fan base are supposed to because they are also part of the machinery of the artist. Sometimes when it is about negative, you see these fans who make sure that they trend the artist number one on, on, on Twitter. You click the hashtag and it's all insult. Oh, Enko Bebiya. Enko Bebiya. Oh, Enko Bebiya. You came here and I think you were with Mercury Quay mm. and the Dawn. Mm-hmm. I, I, I was thinking that you, well, this was a good call or but it looks like you took a different side. No, I didn't take a different side. I listened to what I heard and I gave my submission accordingly. What you just played is a different part of right. what I heard right here, seated in the same seat. Okay. For what he said, I support him 100%. And I've been saying this too. Kobe Chape knows me personally and I know him personally. He is a friend of the industry, he is one of my favorites. For the tape you played for me right now, 100% I support him. We've all been speaking against this. If you're not going to help to amplify the good that somebody has done or the progress they've been able to chalk, don't form an agenda to fight it down at all costs. Guess what? I stand in a better position as a victim, in quote. Likewise, all the other artists too. So we feel it even better and even more, because we are the ones who face that. It really feels a way when you chalk a certain progress out of hard work, and you find out that there's an agenda to massively turn that around because it is you. I'm not the only one who faces that. He also made a very vivid point. Stoneboy signs to Def Jam. Then the attention from some other people would go on to some other artists and be trolling them that. You, you know if you do this, you know if you do that, you know if you do that. When they could have used that same energy to push whatever the good news is so that that would open different doors for other people too. Mm. But it's not going to begin now. It's been there. So this is something that we are all trying to find ways around because different agenda groups have different interests and they are gained thereof. So some people may never stop because of what they are gaining from whatever agenda they set. But is it not interesting to know that you cannot rise by stepping somebody down? Because the time that you use to create your progress, you are using it on somebody else. So then, Kobiche is right. But the next follow-up question, and the one I heard over here, which I also um, provided my submission, was that he was he was an affirmative to Dorina view of the fact that he would say that the PRs of Sack, myself, Shata, and many more Ghanaian, Ghanaian artists is weak. Mm. So when he said that, no, that was when I concluded, I summarized it to be that if it is weak today, we are all growing. So tomorrow it could be strong. But another thing is that the common masses don't know what PR is. What is PR in these terms? I would simplify it on, on, on a shallow level to be that it is when news is sent to the masses, when people can hear what you're saying, like there's information about you to, to them. 
That's how I simplify it to be. And therefore, if Kobiche, who is a media personnel as well, and, and probably a PR, good, sits anywhere and says or agrees to the fact that Ghanaian musicians' PR is weak, then that is weak PR for us on its own. Assuming Kobiche had negated to the fact that, no, yeah, their PR is strong. The general masses, I tell you, if there are 100 people, would believe it. But what if he's telling the truth? Hold on, I'm coming. That is part of the PR as well. Mm -hmm. we, we, we have to make sure it works. And what he's saying, honestly, I think where he stands you now, as a PR person, should do everything that he can to make sure we're still growing, we're in the good light. If you say we have weak PRs, I don't believe we do. We're doing the best we can to the level of our knowledge. So I would disagree to the fact that we have bad PRs. So mm. if you ask me, I wouldn't right. stand by that. Mm. That's it. Hits 103.9 FM. Mm. Martinez. Boss. Mm -hmm. I'll, right. I'll, I'll get, I'll, we'll soon cross over to Ivory Coast. And, and, and I would want Stoneboy to share his experience meeting the Godfather, Alpha Blandy. Oh, great. okay. Um, and the first, let me start with the VGM. Yes, I must say, I'm very happy to see you back. I mean, the performance you gave um, on the night was super, and I'm happy for your union. You've won um, Best Reggae and Dance Artist mm. again. I think this is the fifth time. Sixth time. Sixth time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ain't no stopping any time. That's too. great. You've proven you are really doing <laughs> well. You are a hard worker when it comes to the game. You are experienced and you know, I followed you from 2009 when wow. you came into the scene. Yes, mm -hmm. um, Onuma Day being one of my hits, wow. as well as Submarine and um, wow. Climax. Wow. And ever since you got the space, you you've, did one. Yes, yes, yes. You've you've proven that you really deserve that recognition you have. And so for me, I also understand from the angle that um, for some time you've been off the VGMA platform, so um, your entry was actually planned to create some level of, mm. you know, um, suspense or conversation. And it worked, mm. as you said. And so I'm happy. Uh, I like your energy on stage, which we saw that very night. I think you and Samini have something in common when it comes to controlling the band with your energy. And so um, I give it out to you on that. And then with the Def Jam, I would say um, you are the only Ghanaian artist um, represented us over there. And... Um, based on your effort, that will open more doors for others to be signed, which I believe you will not fail us. I think um, it will help push your music to certain audience that probably you were trying to get them listen to it or hear it. And so um, I believe that with a call you made concerning Sarkoda and Shatawale, that um, if they have platforms like that, like what you have now, you'll be able to get to that global stage you guys want to. I think it's a good call. And for me, I see it as a unity we've been talking about in the industry. Because meaning that you care about them and you've raised certain um, uh, concern to, you know, for us to pay attention to. And so for me, I believe that um, the therapy is a new wave, which you said um, from the records, you have to come up with something different from the usual Stoneboy. But then we are still going to have the Ghanaian feel. We are still going to have the Stoneboy factor. And that alone, I'm very happy about that. I'll end by saying that with what Kobiche said, probably maybe the point he was trying to make didn't um, get to you or maybe people actually didn't understand it very well. I think I, I agree with him um, from the angle he was coming from that probably some of the... It's, it's all about media, like maybe how the media handles some of the issues around you guys, so it goes a long way, a long run to affect you. I think that's the angle he was coming from. That if you guys have a strong PR team, um, to him, you, you think that would have, you know, be able to work on some of these things, so that probably certain communications out there wouldn't be that again. But in all, it's all good for the industry. And, right. Um, I believe going forward. Mm. It's, it's you know, when you talk about PR and things in Ghana, it's really... It's really shaky, oh. so that's that's why I'm coming up from that tangent. Mm. And I know Kobe knows I'm not against Kobe. I'm not the opposite. Cont I'm not a contender here mm. about who is right and who is wrong. No, me and Kobe share similar, the same opinions when it comes to stuff. You see, the other part okay. of the tape is genuine, and I'm what I'm saying is that we've gotten to a level where we cannot afford 
to be washing our dirty linens in public. That's true. Because Kobe himself, he is a big person on that level. So, if as Doreen asks, no, he has a right to express what his truth is. But his truth as who he is, is also PR. Okay. So if his truth doesn't add to his brothers who are moving in a certain light, it would take away from us. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Mm. Well, before um, Ria and Enes come in, these are very important questions I've seen on social. Let me quickly get on Twitter. Uh, at Experience Igula says, and the question to Stoneboy, what are the things he did right to place his brand to the top? That's number one. PR. Number two, how does he deal with falls in music when his music isn't doing well at a particular period? How does he deal with what? Please listen carefully. Okay. It says, how does he deal with falls in music when his music isn't doing well at a particular period? Falls, falls. As in if, if the music is not performing well as probably you expect it to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, how do you handle that? How do you deal with that? Uh, I think it comes to the game. Like, you can't plan everything and have it go the way it is. Some of the biggest songs we've had are not the songs most often we put our eyes on. So vice versa. So when it comes that way, you just gather the experience that comes out of that, that you get as the outcome and know how to step it the next time. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Um, first off, I would just like to say congratulations on yeah. your new signage. You've you've really made us proud. Mm -hmm. I mean, not all Ghanaians. I mean, as Martinez was saying, like I think you're the first Ghanaian to be signed. Yeah, makes yeah. Grow yeah, up yeah, for, yeah. So with a deal like this. Yes, yes, yes. So I would like to say congratulations, and I I I, I don't hope because I know what you have done, and I know you're going to continue the good work. It's just more flesh being added to your work, more PR, more embellishment. Mm -hmm. So I, I I just know that you are going to do us proud. Um, my my question goes back to when you and Sack became close again. You guys, not close, I don't know the relationship now, but you guys are in talking terms again. When that conversation happened, was there any regret that, okay, I mean, I wouldn't call the situation trivia, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, something that was not so, I don't know how it hit you, so much important made you guys fall out. And it was it wasn't a good scene or it wasn't something that was nice for us the fans to hear yeah. and had your like what you were talking about how your fans going at it again mm. so like how did it affect you and how was the conversation like wait was there regret or was there okay you did this i also did that so let's hash it out <laughs> there was no conversation there was no conversation. Exactly. So you guys decided you met each other and you're like, okay, let's hash it out. It's like there's nothing going on anymore. There was no conversation at all. We we just, you see, that's the reality. Okay. Everything you guys saw just happened and we just, that's it. Amen. So that's, you see, so that's why I, I said that, that pettiness from the beginning. We were men. See, we, shouldn't be there. You, we didn't even discuss it. Andy was saying something about pettiness, and you didn't yeah. like the fact that yeah. he called you petty. But no, uh, that he addressed the issue petty. He's not calling pet, me petty. Uh -huh. no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, but do you realize that um, some of these occurrences yeah. that have gone on, yeah. like um, yeah. Angel getting yeah. hit, mm -hmm. um, VGMA, the whole gun incident, mm -hmm. and stuff like that? I think um, uh, was it xylophone music too? There was a situation back way back that mm -hmm. you there was a gun situation again so people see you excuse me to say as angry like you have anger issues temper issues you, you see this question if you ask me a million times i'll just smile about it and move on you know the media actually loves what they want to say yeah yeah, yeah. and it becomes a narrative that people easily believe yeah you may not be able to prove yourself otherwise mm -hmm. until people encounter you in person i tell you all these guns issues and all these ones, they are not the way they seem. Exactly, that's why I'm. What, what I was. Yeah, allow to say. the gentleman to answer. The man yeah. is trying to. Speak. And the man is trying to speak. No, you see, <laughs> I was just I was, <laughs> because I wasn't allowed yeah, yeah, yeah. to learn too with my but question. But allow him. He says he's just <laughs> answering. I didn't allow finish him. my question. They'll they'll they'll, they'll blow because it up. Because I am not ah. trying to say that he's yeah. angry. 
he's an angry person. It's like in the what he's trying to say was even yeah, a, the question I was even about. So to Allah, ask. Allah, you it doesn't matter. You get Allah, it. Allah, Allah, Allah. 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 I don't want my... It's important that she lands because no. he's a. Oh, yeah, land. Did land, land. my question. My did you so didn't finish. I, I didn't finish my question. <laughs> exactly. Okay, question. So in, I was just trying to say that the media is mm. trying to paint you. God bless you for that. As exactly. an angry Thank you. Person. you. That's see, what that's I was why trying to have say. Let me repeat what you said. <laughs> the media is trying to paint you as an angry person. And God my question you. is, how are God you dealing you. with it? And how are you trying to clean Thank your you. image in the media? Thank you. <laughs> So I will tell the media to stop trying. Ah, I love your question. Oh, the whole world you ask me as empire. You say the media. Ah, so hey, hey, come hey, on, hey. Boy, get up, get up, get up. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm sorry, I'm got it. That was jokes. I like how you put it. Thank you for being very honest. Like the media is trying to paint me as don't paint. The paint used to paint some building. You <laughs> don't paint. It's not. It's not true. You know what I mean? Like. I heard something. Isn't it? So I'm grateful that so ma- masses out there, the media is trying to. And how am I going to clean it? No, you. What is too much? Hold on, hold on. It's too much work to want to clean something that is not true. What is there to clean in the first place? No, I'm not saying clean as in the sense of. No, I, 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 get, I get what I'm saying. So what, what do are I clean the in the first place? Necessary steps, because I mean, this is some of the PR we are talking that's about. That's what I'm saying. If yeah. the media is trying to push, then they should stop pushing because that's not it. I, I, that's all I can say. How am I supposed to clean something that's so, not there? How am I going to start to clean? You see, it's like making people are carrying a certain narrative that is not true, and you are an international brand right now. All right, my dear. Okay, the truth will always come out eventually because g- g- people will not understand. People will say, "Okay, it's just Ghanaian media," but you know, some of these big brands do research on your background. Before. I, get I mean, it. there's so many times that people go uh, to airports and they t- try to See, run. And these people, yeah, and I've been there. Background. I've been there. Uh-huh. I'm there. I'm still there. Okay. And these people don't really. Sometimes they know the truth. These people, the same people that are watching, how do you think they're able to ignore certain things? It's not everything I say. Within that period of the heat, there was a movement I was speaking that would have, that, that, that news would have, please are you hearing me? Yeah, 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 I'm listening. Within the heat of some of the controversies, there was a movement I was speaking that would have been hugely affected. Guess what? When I got into the meeting, the person boycotted it and said, listen, if you think I'm going to talk about that, Obro Nipao, I'm not going to talk about that. Straight. I know how the media does. Leave it. Okay. It was my worry for the whole time. But when I sat in the meeting, bro, no, no, no. no. Me nim say, hey, in sense, I'm not going to say, leave that, leave that out. I know you. Or who, me you know, you knew that we were going to talk about it. Yeah, leave that. We know how it goes. It is a hand, maybe I ain't to me, yeah, but train who no crana. I bet me I say, yeah, but it be no more, 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 Levels into so amu gejia, amu 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 tiasie, amu nimino krempo wo my beya wo wase ya. Now the foreigner rather understands the dynamics, and that's what you're saying. So the news, no, what can help me is the news making sure they have constructive evidence to be able to pin proper when they're trying to spread a certain narrative. You know. When they're trying to spread a certain narrative, no. Mm-hmm. That's all I said in the beginning. Once it's constructed, then we can all know. But if it's not, then what am I going to clean? What am I defending? Then you just use the silence is golden method so that when it comes to pass, the truth particles would now bubble out. Stone, uh, it's always difficult getting you because of work. Mm-hmm. So whenever I meet you, you have to I, throw bombs. I try as much as possible <laughs> to, to come to business. Let's go back to Money Matters. <coughs> it's a musical uh, shop. Yeah. I want I want us to I want us to go deep into this one yeah. for the younger generation that are coming. Um growing up, when artists are being signed on, the remuneration package of it mm. is actually our sense of excitement. We see people we actually Blush of that. I've been signed with this. I've been done with that. I remember somebody package. said package, the package <laughs> involved. Now, in this particular deal yeah. of Dev Jam and yeah. all that, what exactly, in your own words, what is the package? As an artist, is it monetary gain or is for something else? That's my first question. Yeah. Number two, the I want us I want to understand from you 
the various synergies that have been put in place for your music regarding to this Def Jam deal? Because I see Universal Music as one, mm -hmm. which is global. Mm -hmm. And then under Universal Music, I see Def Jam, mm -hmm. I see 0207, and I see there's also one in London. Yeah, and one in America. Also, now, in I want you to partition them. Yeah. Specifically, what role are these various, various synergies playing around your music now? Yeah. In terms of Universal Music, mm. one. In terms of Dev Jam, two. Mm. In terms of even with Dev Jam, we have Dev Jam Africa, and, and, and then we have the Dev the Jam, Dev Jam and all that. Yeah. And then we have the one also in UK, yeah. headed by a Ghanaian, mm. also giving you support. What is this about? Can you really open it up? Thank you. Let's see what it is and the monetary values of them. Thank you. Um, I think the presser that was released, if you check on the pages, I might have to repost detailed. The, the it, it gave a, 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 a clean, a clear detail of the roles or what the, the, the names of mention are going to be doing. Okay. Simply put, these are going to be my representatives mm -hmm. globally. Def Jam Africa would see to my African movement. Mm -hmm. Def Jam US would see to my US movement. Mm -hmm. 0207 Def Jam in UK would also see to my UK. Afro Force would see to my movement in Europe. Mm -hmm. So this tells you what sort of deal it is. This is a global deal. Okay. This is a partnership, Bernita Music Group and Universal Music Group. So, so all these companies are affiliates of the mother company, which is Universal, Universal. Music Group globally. Okay, so who controls the uh, the, the, the the music distribution, from which source? Universe, so if you drop yeah, on if yeah. you drop a song now, yeah. who does the distribution across the world? Globally, is Dev Jam. Dev Jam. Yeah. Working under a uh, universe. Yes, yeah, Dev Jam. Working under it's, it, yes, it's Dev Jam. You know, Universal. Dev Jam is Dev like Jam the mother. Africa. Dev Jam is the mother. So you, I can. It's Dev Jam that's going to be doing all this one with their various hubs in different places different but it's Def Jam. Okay, the last time I had a little chat with you about this one you reiterated that the downloads specifically mm. have not actually proven strong financially. Uh, the last time I engaged you in terms of the monetary values, we see the numbers. Here in Ghana, right? Exactly. We see the numbers like 27 million mm -hmm. uh, streams. And then you come to, you do the rare calculations. You see it's somewhere close to $15,000, 10000 which is not even inadequate to be able to produce a, a music video. Mm -hmm. At this particular stage of your career now, what is, the, what, are, what is the definitions of downloads with you in terms of monetary values? Are they paying now as an artist? The thing is, the more the more the streams, definitely the more the money increases. But the business behind what which stream, or what which platform pays, is always different. A conversation because maybe on some platforms, a million streams would amount to this amount. Mm -hmm. I don't see how my engagement with uh, uh, with um, I don't I don't I don't know how that is going to be okay. catered for now. Maybe because of the powers that be they will do probably a certain form of renegotiation. Whatsoever. But I think these things are standard, irrespective. They're, 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 there's a standard fee that all these platforms like the Spotify and those ones pay to whoever. Mm -hmm. you know. So I don't, uh, if, if I'm answering right, I, the more the numbers, the more the pay. But here in Ghana, so our streams or our plays definitely remains, I think it's remained the same if, 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 if it hasn't improved a little bit. You know, we hardly get income from you know, the plays and the streams. We hardly get the adequate income from here, so that I think remains the same. Okay, let me let you off before the last yeah. two, uh, two questions quickly. Um, as a stakeholder of this music industry globally, yeah. and for our future, uh, what is it two things that or two things that you can possibly mention now on the table as two major factors for us to resolve gamma problems in terms of the music royalty systems that we have? Two two major points from where you have traveled around the world. Yeah. What do you say as the number two things currently that needs to be done to salvage the gamma, the royalty situations in Ghana? Two yeah. things. I honestly, is, I think is is bare. We have to work in hand with the global standards and the, and, and the modern ways of being very transparent with how the monies are collected and distributed. That's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And set up the organization well and have it run so that musicians will see their money's worth. 
as far as I'm concerned, is 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 to me it's, simple, it's as simple as this. the transparency is what we are concerned about because we don't really know how it really goes on proper properly. Mm. But, but I have a problem. Right. Whenever there is active elections procedures, mm. these concerns, some of you are not available to retreat these concerns and be part of the organ because of the organizational structure. Mm. For example, recently there was an election to elect Gamora members. I was hoping to see majority of you guys showing face, making sure that you contribute to the structure. Yeah, I the think setting. it's because we've really we've I think it is because we've lost hope and we've not really been you know, um, it's not really been uh, attractive for us to get to know, uh, you know, what goes on in that. So with what you have said, is very true. You can only be involved to make a change. So we will, we, will, we will try to get more involved. You know, somebody like myself, I've tried a few times, but I realize that. Yes, so I will continue to pay attention <laughs> to you. you know, I'll continue. All right, to, you know, <laughs> we are we are ending. Charlie, there's the in fact, I, I wish we would continue, but I, I'll catch you on another side. You know, side? Eh? I'm gonna catch you on my YouTube channel, <laughs> for sure, for sure. They're available, yeah, man, yeah, man. Um, I'll let you go, but remember that there was some issue about taxes. Remember, the taxes issue came up. Um, the, you, you guys were engaged by the creative arts. Uh, agency, you mm. remember some time ago. Mm. Um, now, recently, I did an interview with Honorable Krikumanti, and he said government must start taxing YouTubers. The thing, yeah, I mean, well, the little idea I know about it is that everything is taxable if government won't tax it. It's taxable. But how we go feel okay to pay the tax to is another thing. You know, if we're not making real monies from where you are taxing us as creatives, then we can't even get the money to pay. You know, so government is right to task anything that they, they feel like they can task. They can tax. Every time I say task, <laughs> you know, they can tax. That one there is for sure. But, but wh when you play shows, yeah. when you perform, do you, are you taxed? Yeah. Some of the shows I play here, they take away the tax f from it. And uh, and. Up to now, some of the shows have ref cannot provide me the tax for me to also go and show the tax. Mm, the invoice, the, the, the hair, the withholding tax for me to, to go and uh, for me to to go and, and, and show. So that's really at the come with the creative side. Now, I think we will need more education and we need help. Like I'm saying, I'm available to offer my time and get to do business with the GRA to be able to help conscientize so that we can still structure how, because we are outside the, the structure for the taxing level there, 0, 0.0. So we need, because we, me, I can speak for myself. I know that tax has to be paid. But nothing, they come in like that, and nothing, if you come and see the reality in the thing, you realize that even GRA will give us money to go and chop. <laughs> yeah, just uh, some way. <laughs> living Stuart. <laughs> living Stuart. Well, thank you very much for coming, man. Thank okay. you very much for coming. I'm, I'm so grateful for your time. Yes, sir. It's time for us to go. Well, thank you all very much for listening to the program. Mozart Bet is giving you an exciting new.